Hello there, I am that gamer guy and welcome back to another video. If you couldn't tell from the backdrop, we're going Halloween for this video. A good few months ago now, a subscriber requested that I discuss my favourite horror films. I'll see if I can find the comment and put it here. And I've been saving that video until now, the month of Halloween. But there are a lot of horror films out there of varying subgenres and varying degrees of quality. So for this video, I'm going to be discussing my top 5 classic horror film favourites. And when I say classic, I'm referring to films made in the 20th century, so pre noughties These are not in order from least to most favourite, because I don't think I know which of these is my favourite, but these are in chronological order of release, I think. So let's just get into it, shall we? My first classic horror film favourite is Psycho. I think we can all agree, Psycho is the horror film. I don't know about you, but if someone said to me, think of a horror film, I would think of Psycho. It has possibly the most iconic horror film moment. I'm fairly confident that if someone hadn't even heard of Psycho, they would know that scene. And Hitchcock was twisting before twists were even a thing. Sorry Shyamalan. On a personal level, I'm ashamed to say that when I was a lot younger, I was of the very ignorant mindset that black and white films were not worth my time. And Psycho is the film that convinced me otherwise. So if you haven't seen it, Psycho is the perfect film for Halloween. So my second classic horror film favourite is Halloween. Okay, I take it back. This is the perfect film for Halloween. If Psycho invented the slasher subgenre, Halloween defined it. The whole horror film premise of teenagers being killed off one by one is more or less because of this film. For me, Michael Myers is the most iconic horror film villain, not just because of his amazing theme song. It's also thanks to Halloween that the concept of the final girl exists, and there isn't a more iconic final girl than Laurie Strode. Her Royal Highness, Jamie Lee Curtis. And horror fun fact, Jamie Lee Curtis is the daughter of Janet Lee, that woman from Psycho. So Jamie Lee Curtis is the Scream Queen. I myself watch Halloween every 1st of October just to get me in the murderous mood. And this year to celebrate the release of the new Halloween film, which I'm actually going to see straight after filming this, which is probably why I'm speaking about Halloween quite a lot. To celebrate the new film, I have watched every Halloween that has JLC in. And I'm parting my knowledge onto you, just stick with the first one. Having said that, if you want to see Buster Rhymes Kung Fu kick Michael Myers out of a window, then Halloween Resurrection might be the film for you. <laughs> My third classic horror film favourite is Alien. Now a lot of people say that their favourite Alien film is Aliens. These people are wrong. Yes, Aliens is fantastic and one of the best sequels in film, but it is not better than Alien. <laughs> Alien did things that hadn't been done in mainstream cinema before. In fact, most of the actors didn't even know what they were signing up for. A good example being the famous chestburster scene. Other than, of course, John Hurt, Ridley Scott didn't tell any of the actors what was going to happen, so the actors' reactions were more or less genuine. And of course, we can't talk about Alien without talking about Ripley. If Laurie Strode defines the horror film Final Girl, Ellen Ripley defines the action film heroine. Her character fulfilled a role that at the time was pretty much dominated by men. Not only that, but Sigourney Weaver had a massive influence on what was perceived as attractive. Thanks to Ripley, it was beautiful to be badass. My fourth classic horror film favourite is The Shining. You can't discuss your favourite horror films without mentioning at least one of Stephen King's works. Ironically, this is possibly the title that Stephen King likes the least. Apparently, it isn't a very faithful adaptation to the book, but I haven't read the book, so that's fine with me. While Psycho, Halloween, Alien all have an iconic moment that everybody knows, The Shining Come and play with us, Daddy. has lots of iconic moments. Here's Johnny. I don't think there's a single scene in that film that hasn't been parodied or memefied at some point. And in my opinion, The Shining has some of the best acting seen in horror. All three of the main actors give amazing performances, particularly Shelley Duval, who I think gets a lot of unwarranted criticism. But these performances are all thanks to Stanley Kubrick's perhaps 
unorthodox approach to directing. It is said that he was very friendly to Jack Nicholson and very horrible to Shelley Duvall, all to invoke the emotions of the characters into the actors, so much so that Shelley Duvall began to lose her hair due to the stress of the role, which is why The Shining is effective on so many levels. And my fifth and final classic horror film favourite is The Blair Witch Project. The Blair Witch Project is the only film on this list that genuinely scared me when I first watched it. It didn't help that I was about 10 when I first watched it, and the last quarter of the film consists of the main character screaming Josh, but it also may seem out of place on this list. The other entries on this list were created by filmmaking pioneers. Hitchcock, Carpenter, Scott, Kubrick. I have no idea who directed The Blair Witch Project, and I think that's a testament to how good the film is. In fact, you may know when the film first came out, people thought it was real footage. Before Blair Witch, the found footage subgenre, it existed, but it wasn't very well known about. Nowadays, thanks to paranormal activity, everything seems to be found footage. But back then, Blair Witch was incredibly unique. And I have a related, slightly unrelated story attached to this film. So about three or four years ago, me and two other friends went camping in the woods. The week prior to this, I had shown one of them Blair Witch for the first time. So upon arriving at our camp spot in the woods at night, we set up our tent, we try to get a fire going, but it's too wet and cold and then we go for a little walk in the woods. The atmosphere kind of gets the better of us, we go back to the tent and we try to go to sleep. After about an hour of lying there, cold and very much awake, I hear a noise outside our tent. Now, we were in a very secluded spot where there was nobody else. The sound was very clearly the sound of footsteps, and with the footsteps was a light, I'm guessing a flashlight. So these footsteps and light get closer and closer and closer until they're pretty much right outside our tent. This person stands outside our tent for a little bit, then the light turns off and the footsteps begin to walk away. I wake my friend up and tell her that there was someone just outside our tent. She seems scared, but not as scared as me, and goes back to sleep. Me on the other hand, I'm freaking out, I get the car keys and I go and sleep in the car. So I'm in the car, alone, scared, trying to get to sleep, when a light not too far away turns on. So I realise it's a motion light for an outdoor toilet. After a while the light turns off, and then after another while the light turns back on again and then on and off and on and off for about half an hour. At this point, my fight or flight kicks in, so wrapped in a blanket, I get out of the car and shout, who's there? I slowly begin to walk towards the toilet. When the light turns on, there's a loud cracking sound and I run back to the tent. Now I'd like to point out that had that been an actual horror film situation, I would have broken the most fundamental of horror rules. Don't investigate by yourself. Nothing more came from that night, I eventually cried myself to sleep. In hindsight, the person outside our tent was probably the campsite manager, and the light coming from the toilet was probably triggered by an animal. But that doesn't take away from the fact that that night is probably the most scared I've been in a real life situation. So there we go, those are my classic horror film favourites, thank you for watching. Feel free to comment your favourite down below, and with that I'll say goodbye, please like and subscribe if you want to see more. If there's anything you would like me to discuss, then leave your suggestions down in the comments. Hope to see you guys next time, but... Shh.